So this is just a brief introduction to the uh, spring and mass simulation of kind of web app. So the rest tabs you can choose. So we're just going to use the introduction to this one. And you can see we have, we have uh, springs, masses. So we're only going to use the spring one. So the thing to check on this, uh, uh, the actual forces depend on the uh, on gravity. So you have to keep it at Earth. Uh, I, I say in the instructions to move the spring constant to large. You can print a, uh, uh, a mass on the spring and uh, well, if you stretch it down, it'll oscillate up and down. That's the second part of the question. The first part is just Hooke's law, so let's try and uh, stop this. Uh, click on here. So if you're very careful, you can, uh, once you get to the equilibrium, you can stop it. Okay. So you can actually to help you, you can draw lines where the natural length is, where the equilibrium position is. It, it records this top of this thing here, and then there's a movable line, which is sometimes helpful if you want to graduate things. So the first part of the experiment is looking at Hooke's law. Uh, which so when you put a force on a spring, there's an extension. Its force equals spring constant k times extension x, and you can measure this thing. So that's the first part using the ruler. Uh, you can measure the extension. Just drop in different weights. Okay, just, you have to play around a bit to stop it. Uh, around a bit to stop it moving. Okay, there we go. Then you can kind of measure where the extension is. And you have to do a kind of plot of uh, Hooke's law. And from that you can estimate the spring constant. As I say, we're only looking at this spring, so I need to do on that. Uh, and we're looking at Earth, and I recommend you think about the natural line, equal position, and uh, movable line. Uh, and then, so the first part of the thing is measuring the Hooke's law, where you measure the extension, extension of space. There's a little timer in here, uh, so you can extend the spring, it'll oscillate up and down. And when it's usually at the bottom, you can kind of time it. And then you can kind of measure what the period is. The period is uh, actually, put it in slow motion. So the period is uh, starting here, goes back up, comes back home. That's one time in one period. So it, when it comes back to the same position, obviously don't go in normal mode. So I have to organize. Uh, and then there's a little formula to tell you what the period is. And you can do the measurement and then you can kind of compare your uh, estimate against the time on here. 